Hello, I'm Danielle Shabelsky with Reynolds Palmer Technology. The RPT design team is uniquely adept in pairing vision and funding together in harmony. Our in-house engineering team is able to expertly configure a panel shape, size, and thickness to fit nearly any application's spending allowance. And most importantly, this can often be achieved without negating the desired viewing effect. The following are common methods used by RPT engineers on value-engineered projects. Our cast acrylic is cast in a number of standard dimensions. It can be enlightening to know just how much cost is accumulated through even small additions of material to a standard sheet. The figure represents a common scenario in which length has been added to a standard P panel, panel P, in order to fit custom measurements, panel A. In this case, the P panel was cut to 78 inches in height and 10% of material was added to the length, requiring a chemical bond and further finishing. The value engineered panel, panel V, was simply kept at 128 inches in length to match the standard P panel. This resulted in a savings of 21% on panel price as compared to the custom panel while reducing size by only 7%. Every aquarium viewing opening has a sill and a head. What both of these sections have in common is that they are ideally not at eye level with the viewer. By raising the sill height or lowering the head height, one reduces the amount of acrylic in between. This example shows costly chemical bonds being avoided by substituting 20 inches of concrete in place of the extra acrylic. The viewer's direct line of sight is not affected. In this example, one may have to blink a few times to realize that this is not a tunnel at all, but two demi-tunnels made up of separate acrylic pieces. Each tunnel section offers enough arc for guests to peer up and down to a much greater extent than allowed by a flat panel. But, as compared to a literal tunnel, this demi-tunnel uses a third less material and also provides an avenue for lighting or ductwork. Changing the shape of the structure can also serve to reduce the amount of acrylic needed to construct it. In the example, a 15-inch reduction of rise does little to downgrade the appearance of the tunnel, but goes far in savings. Stem walls are also an affordable method by which to reduce the amount of acrylic used without subtracting from the experience of guests. A stem wall on one or both sides might also serve as a seating area or a place to display informational signage. The examples shown represent only a handful of the ways that Reynolds Palmer Technology can reduce the cost of a project without reducing the enjoyment of guests. Remember, the earlier in the design process the RPT staff become involved, the greater the variety of value engineering options that can be provided. Contact a member of our sales and design team if you are interested in learning more about our cast acrylic and how it might be the right material for your next project. Download the full value engineering white paper on our website at www.reynoldspalmer.com.